Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining for today's video, which is a Simple Stories Saturday video. Excited to be doing this. I do love Simple Stories and I am aware that obviously I've let the team down. So I apologise for last month, but I definitely, um, definitely intend on keeping up with Simple Stories Saturday. So here we are with another Simple Stories. I'm going to use this sketch, if I can reach, which is sketch number 53 from Scrapper Sketch, posted on Friday, November 28th. 25th, not 28th. We're not at that yet. So I have pulled out a collection that I got. It was one of those sort of things, I need, I need, I need. And then it was, what do I do with this? So it is Simple Stories simple vintage rustic christmas so it's designed by the lovely katie petite it is last year's vintage collection and these were where it started because i absolutely love these foam stickers i love the wood grain and i really love the santa claus it's got a few too many vintage vibes so i am surprised that i got it but obviously at that time it was i need it so i got it I haven't actually got the, I think there's a new Christmas vintage this year, but spending freeze, you know, it's all about the, that at the moment. And I am gonna do something with that here on my channel. But for now, I thought, let's dig it out. Like this is the chipboard that I've not even used any of. I don't like these people, dolls, whatever you wanna call them, got to be honest, but I can definitely do something with them. So I have got all of the collection. I've got both sticker sheets, chipboard, foam, sticker book, dimensional stickers, adhesive brads, enamel dots, ephemera, and chipboard pieces, chipboard frames. So pretty much the whole collection. I have been through it because it is a different collection for me. So I wanted to make sure that I could, <laughs> I could do something. So we're gonna see how it is. Here's a picture of me just with a Christmas tree. This was in London and it was the Covent Garden Christmas tree and it's just one of those selfies that you take when you're in these places and I have got, what have I got? I've got four or five different papers so I've got this paper which is the 3 by 4 cut apart cards I'm using the B side which is these poinsettias but they're in white with the distressed elements on this green then I have got this paper, which is the other side of this. And I love the way that this has come from when I cut it. So you get all this distressed element, but then we've also got these and the tree. It's, I just love that. Then I have this paper, which is a plaid that's gonna go here. And then at this bottom part is gonna be this paper. And I've created a banner out of the red version of this paper, which has a gorgeous background paper with a Santa. So that's gonna go there. And then I also have two black strips for there and there. So first things first, let's get our paper on the page. <clears throat> now I'm not gonna lie, I'm out of practice with scrapbooking. It hasn't happened much at all. And I plan on changing that in December. But of course I wanted to get in and get this done for Simple Stories Saturday. So we're going to pop this one at the top and I'm using this green as the base because I figure, well, yes, I could keep and use like a old piece of pattern paper that I don't like or white cardstock or whatever, but I need to use paper up. I have two of all these papers. I don't know why I have two of all these papers because Alvin was silly, um, hence the spending freeze. But I just figured let's just use this pattern it's fine it gets a sheet of paper from this collection used up and it's simple stories and i love simple stories so then i've got these two black bits and i am gonna there is on the sketch there is actually a strip for for this but i've added another one so the strip goes at the bottom and i just i don't know someone was telling me i needed one top and bottom so here we are that is exactly what we're going to do. So 
So, I'm going to put that one there. And I'm going to put this one, which is slightly thicker, down here. And it is another Christmas layer. I am loving Christmas layers, which is a bit random because I am not Christmassy in the slightest. With major houseworks going on, major flare work going on, it's just not happening. Um, I would rather avoid it this year, but I love Christmas scrapping. Okay, so then we're going to pop this there. So that is the base of our layout done, really. Um, it's a simple layout, but I love it. It's a brilliant way to get all your different pattern or colour. Um, I love the way this has sort of nestled in at the top. I just think it works brilliantly. Super happy. So I also have some of the chipboard clusters and the chipboard frames. So I have two of the clusters and two of the frames, one of which I have chopped in half. Well, chopped and this one. My idea is I want to use this as part of the layout, so as an embellishment rather than as a chipboard frame. So I'm going to put some tape on here, I'll stand firm so it sticks. Don't know why you need the uh, sound effects along with that, but there we go. And we're just going to keep going to that. And then this one is going to go about here. Now I am using the whole frame. Yes, I could chop that off. Will I use that? Probably not. So let's just use it. And then I'm going to put some adhesive on this frame, just in this corner, because my idea with this one, why is that not working there? There we go. Is to overlap this one onto here. It's so good to use the stash. Use what we've got. Obviously, we need to support our scrappy retailers. <clears throat> it's a it's a fine line, isn't it? Really, that that's the key. Okay, so that is then going to go over there. And I've stuck some of the chipboard to me. Of course I have. Why would you do it simply? There we go. And then my photo is going to go about here. So I'm going to use the other side of this chipboard frame on the other side of the photo. So it gives the illusion that it's stretched right across the page when in actual fact, it's only stretched to there, so that is then going to go on there, like so. Probably need to bring that in a minute, a minute, a bit. So let's bring that in to there, and then that's going to go there. So I'm going to grab some fun foam. <clears throat> I have these two pieces that are half used, and I'm just going to fill in that gap because I don't want my photo to sink, obviously, especially this side because we have doubled up the chipboard. So I'm gonna stick some under there and under there if I can. There we go. So let's get a bit going in at the top there. Fun foam is great for all manner of things. And I love that it's double-sided. That's what makes it fun. Not sure why it makes it fun, but hey ho. And then I'm going to put that one there as well. <clears throat> so I'm just going to keep on adding this foam just till I've got roughly a level area on which to place our photo. So I don't need to cover like every square inch of it because that is excessive. But equally, I don't want any big gaps or dips going on. Okay, that should do it. And then we are going to put that there. So the 
let's get some adhesive on here. I'm going to put quite a bit on, only because I don't want the photo going anywhere. So that's going to go about here. It is still lumpity bumpity. But I can cope with that. That's not going to do my head in too much. So there is that. And I love the way that that looks. And that just gives you instant dimension. It's got it sticking up. And um, who says you have to use a chipboard frame as a chipboard frame? You can use it for almost anything. So I'm going to also add in this. So we need some more fun foam. I'm going to use black now. And um, what I thought is we could add this in at the bottom. So I'm thinking if we put this sort of over the photo a bit. So let's add this in there. Probably going to have to double this one up. Because of the gap there. So let's just come in with this. And then I'm going to pop this sort of. Love that. Now it is a bit vintage, obviously it's a vintage collection, and I'm not a vintagey kind of guy, hence why I've not used this collection. But I do love that. I do love that. And then I've also got this one, which I figured we may well put up there. So I've also in the Santa ephemera pack, floral ephemera pack got some of these and I'm going to I've chopped them in half and I'm going to chop them again and the idea here is to tuck tuck some of them going on like this so we've got that one that we'll pop there <clears throat> I've got a couple of florals for down here I'm thinking so I'm going to start with the white one even though it is a similar color to this pattern paper, I think it still gives a little bit of detail. I'm going to use one of the leaves, I think. So as I said, I have had a play, only because I'm a bit out of practice. Love the way that looks. And I did also want to add one of these. So I just went through the ephemera pack just so that I make some of those decisions off camera and the video isn't an hour long, when it could be 10 minutes, not an hour. <laughs> okay, then we also have a little floral for there, so let's cut that one. So I hope you have all, all of you in America have a lovely Thanksgiving. And I hope you all, wherever you are, has had a good Black Friday, whether that is spending or resisting the spending, like myself. Either way, I hope you had fun and are now looking forward to Christmas, because that is fast approaching, isn't it? I've got a tree there, and I'm just going to, you know what I do, trim like so, take it off the page. Um, I just remembered I actually have the other, another half a tree, just to go up here. Just felt like it added a bit of something there. And that's about as far as I got. There are a couple of other elements, so a label, just to add a little bit of journaling, is going to go down here. At this point, of course, I have left the sketch behind, but it's still sticking pretty close to it. It's inspired me, it's got me creating, so I'm not going to complain about that. I'm going to take that as a win. I have the autumn release flare, the winter, Christmas and winter release flare are coming. <clears throat> 
very, very, very shortly. But I thought we could add in a couple of these because some of these are still going to work without a doubt, such as a poppy, because it's still a bit florally. So I'm going to add in one of them up here. So Simple Stories Saturday is, of course, as the name suggests, all about using Simple Stories products, but we can bring in other elements from other places. So that would mean flair from wherever, uh, 3D printed, acrylic, and so on. But primarily, it will be Simple Stories products. We're not going to use products from another manufacturer because we're here because we all love simple stories and Joanne created this series to give us a little focus point. So I've added a couple of flair to this cluster here and I think I'm going to add this up there. I do like the chipboard clusters so it looks like they've got lots of clustering going on where in actual fact it is a flat piece. It's a flat embellishment. So it gives you that opportunity to have dimension without tons of dimension. I'm going to put a foam pad on that side. There we go. <clears throat> and then this just looked very stark. So I've lost the banishing as such, purely because I've added so much stuff as I do. So I've got this, I love these pieces, the sort of banner strips, and I'm going to add that to the top here, and a couple more florals. And that's as far as I have got, I've not looked at the stickers, I thought we could look at that and see if there's anything else we want to add together. But I just wanted to talk you through it as I did it, to give you my sort of thought process, I guess. So I'm going to add in a leaf up there as well. There we go. So you could quite easily stop here, really, couldn't you? It's done beautifully, if I do say so myself, for a vintage collection. It's quite a heavy layer. All the details. And I hope you like it as well. But I will add a couple of other pieces to this. So, let's start with the foam stickers, which is what got me into this collection in the first place. And let's see. Now we could have Ho 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 down here. I do like that actually. It's a, it's a quirky title. So let's have ho 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 down there. Yes, that works beautifully. And I am going to add in a couple of these foam, what you call them, hearts, like so. <clears throat> Might add in one with each flare as well, just to highlight that. I love the way this is poking out there. Then we've got a vintage sign, so let's pop that down there as well. That says Merry Christmas. Probably not going to dive into the chipboard, we'll give that one a miss. We've got some adhesive brads, which are basically stickers, aren't they? Let's see. one there actually, a bit different, and we've got this one which has a tree on it, so that's obviously going to work perfectly on our layout, and a floral one. So I'm just adding that these just give a real pop of colour, pop of detail, a bit like an ammo box really. These layered stickers I'm still undecided on. They are very layered, but I do like them. They're just, yeah, very, very layered. But I'll still use one up there. 
And then we've got the sticker book and sticker sheets, but I don't think we need to add all that much. I definitely don't need any banner stickers. I guess we could add in a photo corner, no, not a dark one though. Maybe a light one, just to accentuate the photo. I probably need to add some foam at the top there, so I'll do that off camera. Add in those photo corners there. Um, I think that's probably not much more I want to add. I'm going to put a heart down there. In the sticker book, there are this first page I absolutely love with all of these title pieces. I just don't think we need any more on here. Otherwise, I would definitely be using them. <clears throat> we don't need Santa or anything. We could potentially have a phrase, tree lighting, but that works. So let's have a couple of them. Let's have festive and bright. There we go. And then let's have, so these are actually the same words, you just get them in green and in red. So that's good to know. Usually I would have thought they'd have been different. So I've just added them there just for a bit of, bit of detail. We've got Simply Magical. I'm going to add that up here. Along with a red one, Christmas Spirit. London at Christmas is so magical. I love it. Okay, and we've got some floral bits, some of those freaky dolls. Apologies if you are a fan of them. They just don't do it for me. And I think I'm ready to say that is it completed. Don't think we need any enamel dots but I'll add a couple into these clusters there and I'll add one there so the flare almost acts as one with the threes that we do. We'll have an all red one there and that's going to do it guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know it's not been the best but I'm glad to be doing one nonetheless. I will be back tomorrow for Ellie's Sunday and Monday for Scrap Backwards. I hope both of those go okay. And yeah, don't forget to check out the description box down below where you are going to find a link to everybody's channel who is part of Simple Stories Saturday. And once again, apologies to the team for missing out last month, but I am so happy to be part of it. Simple Stories Saturday from Joanne Bartle. Thank you so much for watching guys, I will see you very soon for another video. Take care and happy scrapping. Bye for now.